everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger. And today, I'm actually punctual to an art challenge for once. We're gonna be using my iPad and doing the Pinterest chooses what I draw challenge. So this is a challenge that Rin, also known as Drawing with Waffles, has come up with. And she did it on her channel a week or two ago. And her challenge was pretty much letting Pinterest dictate what you're gonna draw. But I am changing it up just a smidge, as you can probably already tell. The way that Drawing with Waffles did it was she had two bases drawn already, and she designated one as number one and the other as number three. So for every component, she picked the first and third generated option for the appropriate character. I, but for me, I decided I didn't even want to put in so much effort as to draw bases, so I decided to let Pinterest pick my pose. And I guess with picking the pose, it also kind of picked the gender of the character I was drawing. And I'm using my eight-sided dice to be able to pick which image to reference. The reason I picked an eight-sided dice is because that's roughly the number of images, or at least the maximum number of images you can see at one time on the screen. So that was why I picked an eight-sided dice. I was also excited that my pose was in this sort of sitting position because that meant that I got to randomly generate a stool. <laughs> so like drawing with waffles, I'm skipping those ads at the top, but within the page, I am allowing ads, I guess, if that makes sense. At least if there is something present that I am searching for, hopefully that'll make sense. Next, I'm looking at hairstyles. And this one was interesting because the photo that I picked had many options. So I brought out my 20-sided dice and of course it picked a number that was too high. So I just rolled again and got the fifth hairstyle. The reason I decided to try out this challenge is because Lately, I've just been struggling to think of what to draw. So this challenge was perfect for that. I loved not having to think about any aspect of the drawing. I'm definitely gonna be coming back to this challenge and using it just in my everyday sketching life. So next, I looked for shirts and this one was hard because I didn't know how to count shirts, I guess. But ultimately, I decided to do it the same way that I did the hairstyles, where each sort of Pinterest point is one number. So anyway, I got this shirt, which I don't think fits this character at all, but that's kind of the fun of it, right? <laughs> It was fun to draw the sleeves all rolled up, and I did switch back over to the original pose to see how the shirt is supposed to fold. Then I looked for pants. And I got these cool pants. These pants are so wild. I don't really understand these industrial belts that are so hip and in right now. They seem like really cumbersome and like they would get in the way, but whatever. I think it's a really cool character design that I never would have thought of to put on one of my characters, even though it is hip, I suppose. <laughs> Continuing on through, looking for shoes. So this one, I decided to skip the video because even though there are shoes in the video, I didn't want to have to try and use that as a reference. That just sounds annoying. So I got these cool Adidas. So I don't really know what else to say about these Adidas besides the fact that they're kind of a very hip rose gold color and black, obviously. Because we have shoes, you gotta have some socks. I am 
a avid collector of socks, but I do not have any cactus socks, so now I feel like I need to add some of those to my collection. We're almost done picking out some accessories and we got these watches. And so I decided to make her wearing two watches because why not? It's quirky, it's cool, right? And then because our hair reference did not give us a hair color because they were just black and white sketches, I decided to roll for hair color. I have no idea what to call this hair color, like burnt umber, I don't know, but it's pretty. So let's get to the line work. So I just really want to thank Rin, AKA Drawing With Waffles for coming up with such a fun challenge. I feel like it's been a while since someone has come up with something that I've really wanted to join in on. And she often comes up with a lot of cool challenges. I think she's the one who did the using all my materials of one color challenge that a lot of people have been doing. I've thought about doing that one, but to be honest, I don't feel like I have enough variety of materials to be able to do that. I'm sure I do, but it just sounds like a lot of work to me. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, I really, really enjoyed this challenge a lot. It was such an easy way to get sketching without having to put too much effort into the actual character design. And I think that this is just a really fun way to come up with character designs. I'm so bad at coming up with clothes for characters. That's probably my weakest point as far as character design goes. This really took the pain that I feel when trying to think up an outfit. It took it all away. So that was really nice. And it gives it a little bit more of a realness, I feel like. I always just give my characters, you know, jeans, maybe with rips and like a kind of crop top or something or a really baggy sweater. And it always looks really forced to me, but maybe that's just because I know that I really forced it. So who knows? But this stuff, because it's all based off of things in real life, feel like it just has so much personality that I never would have been able to come up with on my own. So I think I'm gonna use this technique a lot more in the future. I also don't know why no one has ever thought of doing this before. It seems like such a natural progression of Pinterest because Pinterest is so helpful in that way. I use Pinterest all the time for reference, but I never think to kind of let the chance gods have any play in it. So now I'm picking out colors once again and I didn't want to go with the poses skin tone necessarily. So I did the same thing that I did with the hairstyle, rolled a number and then rolled a number within that one image. Hopefully that makes sense. Of course I'm using my Copic markers for this drawing. It is my medium of choice. And this was another part of the process that was made so much easier than it would normally if I'm just trying to come up with things out of my head because picking colors for shirts and pants, I often end up picking things that complement each other too much and so it doesn't look that natural. I'm having a hard time explaining how much I like this challenge, but hopefully you're getting the gist of it because I really like this challenge and it made things so much easier in so many ways. <laughs> Besides that, I don't really have much else to say about this piece. I think this character turned out really cool and there's no way I would have come up with this on my own. 
so that's pretty exciting. I feel like I've said that a hundred times. <laughs> To be able to get all the lettering on both the belt and the shirt, I just used my white gel pen and I think it worked pretty well. You cannot read what it says on her shirt, but that's okay. I didn't really like the saying anyway. <laughs> As I've said a hundred times in this video, I really, really love this challenge. It was so much fun. So thanks again, Drawing with Waffles. If I can, I will leave a link to her video in the iCard. But if it's not there, it'll definitely be in the description. And here's the finished product. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next week.